uh, for double-ended uh, AC voltage gain. Same concept applies. However, we uh, should can notice in the following figure, we have two inputs, no? Two inputs on the transistors, no? That's that is the characteristic of double-ended AC voltage gain. So as you can uh, remember, the single-ended uh, differential amplifier has one has one of its input grounded, no? And this one, both of the input has an input signal. And then, uh, kindly review the um, provided link for uh, video, ano, again, for the um, solving for the AC equivalent uh, circuit. Uh, as a round down in our AC equivalent circuit, you could find that we have here a uh, grounded part, the supply. And then same as before, since the current flowing here is IB, no, due to this one, since this is a base terminal, this is the collector terminal and this is the emitter terminal. So the current flowing here is IB. We have here the uh, resistance, input resistance of our transistor that designates as RI1. And then going down to this form, we have here RE. Is given to this one, no? This one, 1 plus beta IB is actually IE in itself, no? IE in itself. So, we have a different approach, no? In double-ended uh, AC voltage gain, no? So, uh, as expected, uh, IE now is, this current now is equivalent to twice of IE, no? which or twice of 1 plus beta uh, multiplied by IB. And then, uh, Again, we have the uh, we have changed uh, IC now into beta IB or our de dependent current source. No? With this one, we have ground it ground the positive VCC supply grounded that one. As you can see here, and then we have now arrived at the AC equivalent uh, circuit for our double-ended differential amplifier. Notice, however, that again, no, we have two inputs, no, rather than one. No? And now, no, assuming that the two transistors are well matched, as we have, we have explained, um, well matched means that they have uh, fabricated from the same um, silicon uh, wafer, no. Uh, and then um, with that, we define that uh, IB1 and IB2 is equivalent to IB and uh, input resistances is equivalent to RI1, is equivalent to RI2, is equivalent to RI, which is in turn equal to beta RE. No? And then considering that uh, RE now is very large, so again, open, uh, open part, no? And then... Uh, we are now to simplify the KBL equation as this one, no? And then uh, running that out, no? So, v, uh, VI1 here, and then IB1, and then concerning that one, and then uh, looking onto this form, and then as you can actually see, no? Uh, this one has been... Uh, uh, the voltage across this one has a different phase compared to this one, no? As we have learned on our past lesson, no? So that will be equal to negative of the different phase for this one. And that, uh, which in turn, equivalent to the IB now is equivalent to the two, uh, twice of VI, no? Since they are equal, but have opposite the, uh, in direction, no? Different phases. Then our IB is equivalent to VI over beta RE, no? And then uh, uh, considering IB and then seam of the beta for the two transistors, our IC now is equivalent to uh, uh, VI over RE, no? And then the output voltage uh, magnitude at either of the collector is equivalent to VO is equal to ICRC since uh, we have the one resistor here. Our voltage here is the same as this one. So ICRC, substituting our computed IC with this one. And then we arrived at uh, the following form. No, So our um, voltage, our AC voltage gain no, for our uh, double-ended AC uh, amplifier is equivalent to VO over uh, VD or is equivalent to RC over RE. No? And then... Uh, same as before, we have a small uh, signal for a transistor, 
no AC 26 millivolts uh, over IE and then you can actually derive that no using the following uh, formulation and then comparing that one on a single ended AC voltage uh, voltage gain no uh, we have two here on the denominator no and then with the double ended the on the the two on the denominator is gan no comparing that one on a single ended AC voltage gain now, uh, for our sample problem number two, we are to calculate the double-ended output voltage and AC voltage gain for the circuit below where uh, uh, VCC is equivalent to 9 volts, VEE is equivalent to negative uh, 9 volts, uh, RC is equivalent to 37 kilo ohm, RE is 33 kilo ohm, our input resistances is 15 kilo ohm. Our current gains is actually 80. And uh, our supply is the same as 2.5 for both of them. Uh, and then uh, solving that one, in order to solve for the um, double-ended current gain is RC over twice of RE. And then we have said that uh, both of the inputs is the same. And then uh, this one is the smaller resistance looking on the emitter of the transistor. And then solving for the output uh, voltage equation, same as before, no? deriving that one, we arrived at IC now is uh, mostly equivalent to uh, IE. No? And then uh, this one is actually the equation for the output voltage and this one is the equation for the AC voltage. Now we need to actually find for the DC, which is IE part for both of them in order to solve the output voltage and the uh, AC voltage. Solving for IE here and again uh, in DC analysis, we should short out the uh, AC supplies, so shorting that out. Beginning with the ground, which is 0 volts, less the voltage drop across this one is negative 0 0.7 volts. And then uh, this current is IERE less the negative V is equivalent to 0. No? And then solving for IE now is equivalent to 9 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 33 times 10 to the 3. No? Now is equivalent to 251.5 micro ampere and then again this ie is this ie can uh, actually be substituted directly in order to solve for bo however again in solving for the current gain this ie should be divided it by two no since uh the small uh, resistance ac resistance here is at the emitter side which has a current of ie divided by two and then uh, solving that one divided by 2 to solve for the output voltage. Output voltage now is equivalent to 4.35. Uh, and now solving for the uh, AC, uh, AC voltage gain, which is equivalent to RC over uh, RE. And then we have said that uh, we have to divide the emitter current which is equivalent to 251.5 microampere by 2 and that equates to 125.75 microampere so 26 millivolts divided by the um 125.75 microampere equates to 206.76 ohms that yields to our um, ac voltage gain of 178.95 and uh, for our last subtopic, uh, which is common mode AC voltage gain. In order, uh, as you can see, the AC, no? the AC circuit in common mode connection is designated on the right side. And then uh, as you could observe, these ones, uh, all we have two inputs, actually, no? we have two inputs on the two transistor. However, they have the same phase, no? In comparison with the double-ended uh, differential amplifier, the input supply has different uh, phase for both of them. No? So with this, we have the same phase. And then continuing with the analysis for EC, uh, this one, as you can see, it is connected, no? The inputs has been connected to VI, and then... Uh, we have again the input resistance for the transistor and then this one is the IE part 
twice of IE, the same as that. And then the dependent current source of IC, which is designated in this part. And all of the DC uh, inputs has been grounded, no? or the DC supply has been grounded to arrive at uh, AC equivalent circuit. No. So, solving the um, KVL equivalent for that, and then which, which arrive to VI minus IBRI, no? minus twice of beta plus 1 IB, or twice of R IE, this one is equivalent to IE. No? And then, uh, solving for IB, IB yields to VI over RI plus twice of beta plus 1 RE. No? And then uh, using again the IB current no? with this one. And then as you can see, VO now is again equal to ICRC. No? Since we have uh, one resistor here, voltage is the same as the voltage drop across the resistor of RC. And then um, continuing with that one. And then um, IB now substituting... no. With, the, uh, with, the, with that, yields to the following, no? Out, our output voltage now is equivalent to beta VI RC over RI plus twice of beta plus 1 RE. And uh, solving for the voltage gain is actually manipulating this equation, bringing VI onto the, on the, on the denominator part. We have a more complex uh, AC voltage gain for the common mode uh, circuit of beta RC over RI plus twice of beta plus 1 RE. No? And as you called, uh, remember, no? uh, on, the, uh, on the single ended, we have the here RC divided by twice of RE. No? And the double ended is RC divided by um re no just as this one no this one rc divided by re and then in here in common mode operation our voltage gain is much complex in equation no uh, we are asked in sample problem number three to calculate the common mode output voltage and AC voltage gain for the circuit uh, below given the following uh, input voltage for both of the transistor of 5 millivolts uh, RC for 50 kilo ohms and RE. This is equivalent to 50 kilo ohms also. No? Oops, may mali na naman. No ba yan? 45. So, in sample problem number 3, uh, we are asked to calculate the common mode output voltage and AC voltage gain for the circuit below. No? Uh, we have the input voltage for both of the transistor as 5 millivolts RC or the resistance at the collector side is equivalent to 50 kilo ohms and RE of 45 kilo ohms. We have here the input resistances. AC resistances of 20 kilo ohms and uh, our current gain as um, beta 1 is equal to beta 2 which is equivalent to uh, 75 no and then uh, with our derived uh, output voltage equation substituting uh, the valuing values yields to our output voltage now is equivalent to 75 multiplied by 5 millivolts multiplied by 50 kilo ohms which is the rc part and then divided by the AC res input resistances, 20 kilo ohms plus twice of beta plus 1, um, multiplied by 45 kilo ohms, and then that equates to 2.73 millivolts. And in order to solve for the uh, AC gain, no, uh, substituting the following values that we have the, uh, solved, our output voltage is equivalent to 2.73, we have solved that a while back, and then the given of 5 millivolts, which is our input voltage divided 
mm, divided 2.73 millivolts by 5 millivolts equivalent to 546.65 millivolts. You could actually use the following equation or if you if you have solved already about VO, you could all directly substitute this one. No? Uh, where our learning objective met, we have discussed the principles in solving a single-ended, double-ended, and common-mode EC uh, voltage gains. No, in which um, the principle is that from the DC, no, from the DC circuit, we have transformed it into AC circuit, and then AC equivalent circuit by actually grounding, no, grounding all of the uh, DC supply. No, on the circuits and then uh, after grounding that one and then just um, inputting or adding some AC input resistance on the transistor and uh, the uh, dependent current source no and just simple uh, uh, changes in the a layout for our circuit we can now actually form from DC into AC and then after that we can now solve for the uh, AC voltage gains. No, we have the right for the AC voltage gains. Uh, for the three modes, no, single ended, double ended, and common mode. And then we have solved relevant problems. Uh, uh, each for the uh, given modes. No, our next topic is operational amplifiers. Uh, for your lesson and activities. Uh, you also be asked to calculate and derive the single-ended output voltage uh, and AC voltage gain given the following conditions and parameters. And then uh, same for uh, number two, uh, for double-ended output voltage and AC gains given the following parameters. Also for the last one, uh, for the common mode output voltage and AC voltage gains given the following parameters. Huh?